Okay, so has this ever happened to you? You go to access an Excel file and want to make a few changes. Several other people use it, maybe in your office, and you find that you're locked out. Okay, nobody wants to get this message right here. All right, but there's nothing you could do about it because Excel won't let you make changes while somebody else is in there. Okay, and the reason why is this squiggly file. So that tells me that somebody else is in that file right now on another computer, all right, and that someone happens to be me. So I'm going to close out of that right now, and you're going to see that squiggly file disappear on its own right in front of your eyes. You can't delete it. It's a temporary file made by Microsoft. Again, it stops Excel from opening that file as long as that little squiggly is in there. All right. Um, now, the problem that we're having is that this is not a shared workbook, okay? It may be shared with other people, but it's not actually shared, okay? And I'm actually going to share it on the other computer right now. And you're going to see that squiggly file disappear again. But this time, it's going to be because I'm changing the actual structure of the workbook to be a shared workbook. All right, so this is taking things to another level. This is going to record changes. This will allow you know multiple people to be in this and make changes at the same time. Um, it is it's safe, but you know you wanna you don't want to go all willy nilly here. Um, you know just uh, because things can get a little confusing when you've got especially if you've got you know you know a bunch of people that are in this at the same time now you'll see it open up for me fine um, it actually you know there's no more squiggly file so this changes to shared okay up here at the top and now I can you know I've got this open on two computers and you know I want to change this to you know nine bucks and we're gonna we're gonna save it somebody else is in this right now okay and it took the change and it, there's no error and you know on the other guy's computer what's going to happen is once he saves his changes he'll get he'll get notified that you've made some changes and he'll actually they'll update on his excel um on his computer all right so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to actually change AQ150 from 5 to 4 bucks. Okay, I'm going to save it on the other computer. Okay, and you're going to see what happens over here. All right, so say I'm, um, you know, I'm just plugging along over here, and you know, maybe I add a new, a new number. Uh, you know, this will be, uh, you know, 12 bucks. Okay. And I go to save. All right, now this field has been changed to four dollars. Okay, but I don't see it yet. And by the way, the refresh button is going to be grayed out on shared workbooks, so we can't use that. Okay, let's save. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to save my row here. And look at that. So my workbook has been updated by someone else. So. Okay, somebody else. All right, so they changed four. This is what you get a little notification arrow that's temporary. Okay, this will go away after a few clicks. It tells me who did it, what time, what they changed from and to. Okay, this could be reversed um, if that is not correct. Um, you can reject the change. Okay. You know, we want to um, we want to accept that one. We want to reject this. Okay, so if we reject that, it's going to go back to five. Let's just accept the rest of these. Okay. All right. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to save that change. Okay, and that will update eventually in the other guy's workbook is really the same as this workbook but on a different instance 
on a different computer. Um, so I'm going to go over to his, and there's the little blue arrow, not only for the the uh, rejected change for five, but also for this new product. Okay, and I got the same notification that it's been updated by another user. Okay, so this is actually working perfectly. All right. Um, so what I did was I went to share workbook and this is on the so if you're coming from home you go to review share workbook this has already been checked I checked it earlier in the video um, to allow changes by more than one user at the same time and you can even see who's in it currently okay you can remove them if you want okay um, there's a few advanced features here, which we're not going to get into, but you can change, you know, the history to maybe if you want to just do a week of history, we could do that. This is going to save. Um, track changes has, you know, this will, uh, you know, the little highlight triangle that came up, you know, you could control that here. Or you could put it into a new sheet, I suppose. Um just going to cancel that for now. Uh, um, all right, so uh, let's see. So that's that's really all you have to do is just have this check mark. Now, um, you know, what I'll do is remove this user, okay? I just kick them right out. This name, by the way, is, uh, sorry, it's controlled. I'm going to unshare the workbook okay so yeah that's fine and this is gonna go go away from shared so now it's gonna be back to the squiggly file um, over here so you see so when we share this okay if we want to allow shares okay so now if we go back out to you know, we'll see there's no more squiggly file. And this time it's because we made this a shared workbook. And now everybody can get in at the same time. And just to recap, you know, we went up to share workbook. This is the checkbox, checked or unchecked, depending how you want to do it. And you could see who's listed. By the way, these names, let me show you where that name um, where that name comes from. Uh, you go to file, it's in options, general tab is going to give you the username right here. So, you know, if we want to change that, because, and you know, if you're locked out, if it's, if it's a non-shared workbook and you try to get in and you're locked out, you know, it's going to say whatever name is in this field over here as the person who's in there. So it's just a helpful aside. And, you know, if we go back here to the list, we're going to see that it still says attention. Okay, so sometimes what you have to do is just close down. Um, and just go back in there. You know, one of Excel's many little quirks. So we're going to go back to review. And there we go, Alan. So it's been updated. So that's how you can allow multiple users to, you know, edit and save the same workbook. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, this helped.